activity is Welcome back to the vlog. My name is Jenna. If you guys are new here, welcome to a productive vlog. Happy Saturday. It's actually 1230 right now and I just got out of bed. But even though I got out of bed so late, we can still make today a productive day. I have a lot of stuff that I have to do. Before we go ahead and get started with today's vlog, I just want to give a big thank you to Book of the Month for sponsoring today's video. I'm so excited that Book of the Month is sponsoring today's video because this fits exactly into my New Year's goals. I feel like I see Book of the Month literally everywhere right now and it's a fast growing a super popular online book service for all types of readers, new readers, old readers, looking for something new. Book of the Month just kind of has everything for you. Their own mission is to actually promote new and emerging authors and help readers discover books that they love, which is perfect for people like me that are not really that into the book community. Like I kind of don't really know what to read half the time. I've just always gone off of book recommendations from friends. Their team vets hundreds of books every single month and gives readers their own choice from a curated selection of new and early release titles. So you can spend more time actually reading and enjoying your book instead of spending more time trying to find the book in the first place. Book of the month is also risk-free, so you can skip any month if you want, if you're behind or if you're traveling, or if you just didn't get to reading that month, you can skip that month. So you won't be charged if you have to skip a month, but I just think it's really nice to have a subscription service for something as like nourishing as reading because it actually holds you accountable to read something new every single month. And I really, really love it. I just feel like reading is so good for your soul. It's a form of entertainment. It requires no screens and it's just a really, really nice thing to adopt into your New Year's plans. Here's what the box looks like. It's this beautiful blue box. And when you open it up, it literally just like looks like a book. I think it's so cute. The two books that I picked out this month are Georgie All Along by Kate Claiborne and Jojo Moyes' Someone Else's Shoes. I was extra excited about Georgie All Along just because I love a good like self-discovery, love, career, anything like that I feel like works really well, especially for someone like me and the main character sounds a lot like me. So I'm just really, really excited. You can see that at the corner of every single book, they have this book of the month little coin. And I do have a discount code for you guys. If you use the code warmup, then you can get your first book for $9.99. Because hardcover books are usually like at least double the price. So it's just a really good deal overall. Thank you so much again to Book of the Month for sponsoring today's video. Again, you can head over to bookofthemonth.com and use the code warmup to get your first book for $9.99. I think that's everything. Let's get back to today's productive vlog and let's make our to-do list because I have a lot of stuff that I have to do. You guys here's my bullet journal slash planner oh you guys come on how do you not love this i just think this planner is so freaking cute i will never stop talking about it all year and next year and everything but Here's our plan for today. I wrote down a pretty lengthy to-do list and I ended up like needing more space. So I added some stuff at the end, but these are honestly all like kind of small ticket items that I feel like I've been putting off all week, like doing returns, doing like my Nespresso pod drop off and printing out pictures and stuff. Like I just have some stuff that I need to do that I can only really do on the weekend while I have like a free day. So I have the productive things that we have to do. And then I also just have some self-care productive things that we have to do. I really want to journal today because I'm journaling twice a week and I really want to do an at-home manicure and just kind of try to grow these nails. They keep breaking, but one of you guys told me that they're breaking because like I keep cutting them and I don't put anything on them. So we're going to try to give ourselves a very short manicure today. I want to do some cleaning, go on a walk outside. I'm going to do the walk in errands kind of together and like printing pictures. Those three things will be done together. Editing a little bit and then that will be our productive Saturday. As you can see, I literally did nothing yesterday. I went to a concert and that's it. That's all I did. So we're going to do a lot of stuff today. I also want to show you guys how my trackers are looking because as you guys saw, I didn't do my trackers for the last three days. I honestly didn't really look at the trackers or do anything for the last three days. So I filled everything in. Here's how it looks all updated. Isn't this just absolutely stunning? And then I did actually write my goal too for my cover page that I just wrote, be gentle this month because that's one of my goals. So that's everything that we have planned today. I'm very excited. I ultimately just want you guys to know that 
productivity is literally whatever you want it to be. For me, productivity is mixing in self-care things, things that I don't really want to do but have to do, and social plans. I do have dinner plans tonight. So productivity, I feel like, is just different for every single person. But for me, if I can balance out different types of priorities like the errands and the chores but also self-care journaling manicures and stuff then i feel like that's my perfect kind of productive and it's literally 12 30 now so you can be productive at any time you can sleep in the whole day and have a productive day so let's do that let's start with walking and doing our chores drop-offs and stuff and i'll show you guys a little bit of arlington virginia it's such a beautiful day out so i just need to be outside like right now. So let's start our to-do list and do our returns. Okay, you guys, here are the photos that I'm picking up. I'm basically just printing out a bunch of pictures of my dog because I'm going home on Monday for my mom's birthday and I wanna bring my mom a couple of pictures of Timmy and stuff. So I made this order on CVS Photo and I got a discount because I just use Honey to find any current active discount codes. So $11.82 for a bunch of photos and then I have a couple of pictures for the entryway too of Thomas and me. So we're going to order that for same day pickup and then while we're waiting for this to be done Thomas and I are gonna go on a walk outside hello and I need to make a couple of returns I need to go to the UPS store to drop off these Nespresso pods this has been sitting in my apartment for like I think like two weeks or something so need to do that and then another thing that I'm returning is my Gymshark order I did make a Gymshark order for the Whitney Simmons collection and I'm actually wearing her bra right now I love this bra if this is still in stock you guys have to get it it's just literally the most flattering beautiful and just perfect bra ever it's so nice and it's like a long line so it's more like a shirt than an actual bra so i can just wear it with a pair of leggings like this and it looks good to go but i am returning one thing i'm still kind of unsure about the leggings i got a pair of the whitney leggings from her newest collection in black and i don't know why i just maybe i need to try them on again but i tried them on and i showed rachel and she was like they look so good but i'm just gonna wait on this i only tried them on once anyways but something i know i'm returning is the like fuzzy material from Jim shark this is just not flattering and i'm sorry because i really love whitney simmons i feel like it looked so good on her but this material is so thick it's almost too thick and it just looked really really weird on my body <laughs> it was just really weird so i'm going to return that and then for the leggings i feel like i'm going to keep them or like give them to rachel or something I'm not returning them for sure i just know that i need to return this so that's what we're going to do today in terms of our returns. Nespresso pods, Gymshark order, and then on the way back, we'll pick up our photos. This is something that has been on my mind literally like for the last week, week and a half, two weeks. I don't know, but I've just been putting it off because even though I work from home, I just find that I don't want to do an errand like this during the day because it probably takes around like an hour or two if I want to walk. I don't want to drive. So this is just... The productive thing that i need to do on the weekend and we're gonna do it today that's the plan let's go on a walk now and then we'll pick up everything i can check off like two or three things off my to-do list but we're also gonna go on just like a walk outside arlington too and i'll take you guys along that and yeah i'll see you guys very soon but i will feel so much better when this is done also do you guys like my pink outfit for valentine's day <laughs> This is the We're back home now. We went on a really nice like hour, hour and a half long walk. It's honestly really nice out in Arlington. Colder than it seems, but it's really nice and sunny out. So we just went on a really nice walk. We walked for a total of two miles, two miles and one quarter. And we did all of our returns and stuff so we can check this off. Returned my Gymshark and my Nespresso. Went on a walk outside and I printed out pictures. 
Let me show you guys the pictures that we printed because they're just really pretty. And we're gonna make some updates to the apartment with these photos. First off, we got this magnet. We're gonna put this at my house in Maryland because the back of our garage door is just like one big magnet, obviously. So we have a really young picture of Timmy, but now we have an older one. And I think it's just really cute. So I have that, I'm gonna give that to my parents this weekend. And then I just printed out some other photos just for us to keep. I think I'm gonna frame one, keep one here and then frame one and give one to my mom or my sister so we have that and then i also have two of these we got two photos because timmy's back home now and we're gonna put these photos in like his little memorial area i just told my mom that i would print these so i have two just in case we mess up or something so we have that look at how cute he looks you guys this was when he was younger he looks so happy and then i did print out two new photos for our entryway because when we did the entryway i think thompson and i realized we didn't have any normal photos of just like us smiling and stuff so i found these and i printed these out this one has timmy in it and then this one is from a birthday party that we went to this summer so we can make these updates now and let's do that right now here's our entryway currently we have a bunch of black and white photos and this one's gonna stay this one is gonna change because it's like a mirror picture and i just don't want a mirror picture and then this one is gonna change just because you can't really see our faces but this one will stay from graduation so let's change the two new photos i'm not one of those who easily can open up and let somebody close I got you Everybody else makes me feel small And done and lost But you're not like everybody else at all You're the only one who makes Okay, hello guys We have done a lot I'm actually really happy. I silently was just cleaning the whole place. I originally wrote down that I wanted to empty the trash and clean our desks. And once I did that, I was just in like a cleaning everything. So I sanitized like our entire bathroom, like our shower, trash cans, doorknobs, literally everything because our, I feel like our shower has hard water. So you can see the kind of water stains or whatever. So I literally wiped down the entire shower and just everything else in this apartment. It's so clean in here. I'm really happy. So we got that done and now we can just do the rest of our self-care things. As you guys know, and I know I already said this in the beginning of the vlog, but productivity is literally whatever you want it to be. And for me, I put all of my chores is like the stuff that I didn't really want to do doing that first it's still productive to journal do an at-home manicure maybe like watch a show or something that's just as productive as going to do your returns or errands or cleaning I really think that productivity and balance is the most fulfilling so I'm just very happy with myself it's very clean in here and I'm just like very relieved because it's Saturday and usually I would wait for a Sunday to do stuff like this but I just feel like Sunday now can be really chill and just thank goodness. The only things left on our to-do list are start editing this vlog. Um, I want to journal and I want to do my nails. So now that Thomas has woken up from his nap, I think we can watch a show as I paint my nails, do a weekly self-care, and then we'll be good to go. Ideally, if I could do all of my stuff that I have to do on my to-do list before my social plans, then that is just also so ideal. Very productive day and let's do our nails now. This apartment is just so clean. I like did the dishes, wiped everything down, sanitized everything, the desks, like just cleaned everything out. And it looks very, very good. Every time I pass the bedroom now, I just love how it looks. I feel like this is really the best that we could do considering we needed like an extra closet storage, more storage here. But now having the wall art and the lamps, I just feel like it really does look very complete or like as complete and renter friendly as possible. So I'm just so relieved. I showed you guys these wall prints last couple vlogs, but they're from Amazon. They're really good. Everything here is all tidy and the whole bathroom is just so clean. I'm so happy. Like you don't see any of the water stains or anything anymore. It just looks like a crisp, clean shower and bathroom, toilets clean. 
everything is clean. <laughs> I'm actually really relieved to have some like rest time now because I feel like I've just been very like go, go, go all day because I woke up so late. So you guys, it's literally like 4.30 and I did everything that I needed to. You can be productive like whenever. I woke up at noon. <laughs> okay, let's paint our nails. like 6 15. i'm really proud of myself because i got almost everything i needed to done before dinner so let me show you guys i did journal for a little bit before i started editing and i like kind of started but not really i just uploaded all of my footage so i'm not really gonna mark that off so you guys this is our complete checklist almost done i just have one more thing i just want to start editing my vlog i have like all day tomorrow to edit it too but I'll just be really happy if I can at least even edit like one or two minutes or something with all the footage that I have. So we'll do that after dinner, but here's my dinner outfit. We're gonna go eat hot pot. And whenever I have hot pot, I always have to just dress really comfortably because it's like a comfort meal. It's just like soup and meat and noodles and veggies and it's so good. So we're just wearing Lululemon, I guess like all around. These are the Lululemon leggings. I've been wearing them all day. And then I got this crew neck in Florida. It was on sale when I was visiting Rachel Vin. I found this on the sale rack and I just love it so I got it but I don't think you can get it anymore let's go to dinner we're gonna go to this place called happy lamb in falls church it's so good and now I can just like enjoy my meal knowing that I got like 99% of my to-dos done today I'm really happy this is just like the perfect type of productive day for me I'm just glad I did those returns dinner time say hi to the vlog hi <laughs> Sunday. Okay, I just totally forgot to vlog like my whole dinner last night. I was too in the moment with Thomas and Jerry, so I was just having like a good dinner. But I'm really sad because hot pot is such a good meal and it's like really cool because I feel like not a lot of people have even had it before. So I'm really sad that I missed to get any footage, but dinner was really good. And then we came back and just watched TV for like the rest of the night. So I did a very like self care, just chill weekend night, but I'm really happy because I did get my to-do list done before that. And I did get a late start to editing this vlog, but I've been doing it like all morning. So this is a complete to-do list. I think it looks very good. I'm very proud of myself. And I'm really just gonna be editing for the rest of the day and going grocery shopping and I'm actually about to go to Orange Theory too so I'm going to work out but I just wanted to come on and end this vlog here I love you guys so much thank you guys so much for coming along my productive day I feel like weekends are the perfect days to do the things that you just want to take your time doing so for me it was going on a long walk and running errands doing returns and stuff I feel like during the work week I just don't want to get in my car and do those errands sometimes I just want to like get through my day and chill so errands during the weekend are kind of perfect sometimes and I feel really good that I finally got those done and I'm really happy that I took you guys along for it thank you again to book up the month for sponsoring today's video again you can use the code warm up to get $9.99 off your first book definitely consider trying it I think book of the month is a really cool company and I guess that's it make sure you're subscribed if you're not already I post new videos every Tuesdays and Fridays I love you guys so much thank you so much for watching I'll see you guys in my next video but until then miss you already